when it comes to curing velvet, there's a million different ways you can see people do it on, on YouTube here. But this way, it's a quick and dirty way with stuff you can just get at Ace and like a feed store. I just got this from the vaccination section for like cows and stuff at Runnings here in town. You can get needles there. The smallest they had was a 22 gauge. I'm gonna try that for starters. Um, and then we got some denatured alcohol, acetone, and some Lysol. This way I actually learned from, this is just coincidence, I'm wearing a shirt I haven't put it on this morning, wasn't planning on making this video, but Bob the Butcher on Lanai showed me this way with denatured alcohol to help get the blood out. And then he used pine saw. I don't know if I'll do that yet. I have some concentrated Lysol, but last night when I got back with this deer, I did paint on some acetone. But there was still, I'm still getting some blood running out of the tips. I poked holes in the tips, and I'm still getting some blood running out, and I can see where some veins are, and so I figured I would do it this way. What's going on, Ed? Not too much. I'm going to try figuring out a way to cure this velvet here without formaldehyde or antler. Oh. You can get like antler and you, velvet tan. You don't take that hair off, do you? No, and that's why I'm going to try try curing it, getting it to set up without rotting anyway. What do you got there? Drink your water. Yeah, just a bunch. Because I was planning on hunting for 10 days, but I shot this buck on day one. Hold it, hold it. I want to show you something. Come in this way and you won't be spilling like that. Oh, yeah. That'll work. How much? That's plenty. There's a trick to every trade yeah. day. Yeah. You didn't know that one? <laughs> no, I know it's oil. Keep this spout. You know, yeah. Keep this spout up high. And the upset. It gets air in it. What's that CERN for? Injecting it into oh. the blood. So you into can. Into the blood? Yeah, air into the blood vessels. Like the reason for this denatured alcohol is to get the blood what out. What is this called? Denatured alcohol. Denatured. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, and it'll get the blood out, and then that way the blood's out, it can dry on the inside and it won't rot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you got the camera up for? Because I'm going to record this in case it works. Because there's oh, nothing on the YouTube hell? for doing this. You don't this remember method. it? You're getting like No. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't remember what time I take my fucking pills. <laughs> take no. all your drugs? And <laughs> I can't help it. Them fuckers, every time I go to the goddamn doctor, they give me some. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got and you on all fuckers, kinds of shit. I'm going to cut back. I'm not going to say nothing to them. Fuck it. <laughs> well, what, if you, what if you fucking croak? Oh, I can't help it. <laughs> This is killing me. I take two pills at noon. They, I, I didn't feel worth shit till now. I just took a, a th three, uh, three or three fifteen. I took a pain pill. Yeah. Now I feel good again. Yeah. But God damn it, there for a while I felt like shit. When huh. I moved my hoses the last time. Oh yeah. See now. I gotta move them now. It's 351 already, and I wanted to move them at 315. Oh, okay. Or 345. I gotta go move them. All right. Oh, I just moved them. What the fuck am I thinking? <laughs> of? See, that's how bad I'm getting. You're I just moved it. them before I come over here. Oh, uh, yeah. At 345, I moved them. Huh. I write it down, though, so that I don't forget. Cause yeah. God damn it, I'll tell you what. But the hardest part is like finding those blood vessels. It would have been easier if I would have. Been able to do this last night, that they were so easy to see when there was still blood in it. And that's what you're looking to do. If you can find one of the blood vessels at the bases, you know, poke holes in all the antler tips and just get that blood to rush, to get this to rush through, to get the denatured alcohol to, to flow through and push any of the blood out. Oh, there's a little bit of blood coming out. Good, good. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna go hang this, brush on some acetone with a paintbrush. Real liberally, just really brush it on there, just drench it in acetone and let her hang for a couple weeks and But this here is why you wanna avoid touching this the antlers as much as possible after you shoot the deer because you'll notice here this is bruising. 
like aside from from actually getting bacteria into the into the hair follicles you're going to really bruise up that skin one thing i forgot to show when i was injecting the denatured alcohol into the velvet was that if you open up along the base here along the pedicle on the underside it kind of sucks because you will you're going to kind of run that velvet around the base it's hard to do i mean if you can see the blood vessel where it runs along and then goes into like the the base here you can open it up on the bottom side to expose like the underside of that vein that vein will run right through the base here you be able to see sometimes you see them see those holes right there i found those right away on the one i was working on and i tried to to get the denatured alcohol to run through this way and out the antler tips i wasn't having that much luck but when I went through each antler tine from the top, I could get it to flow through and then out the bases. But you have to make sure it was opened up on the bottom side to do that. Just wanted to show the final product that I got. No issues, and it actually dried super fast. Like I didn't have to let it sit as long as I you have to without using anything. Without doing anything though, you can just take velvet and let her hang. It'll buff should buff. I guess don't take my word for it, but I haven't had any issues. So yeah, denatured alcohol to flush the blood out of the inside of the velvet, paint on some acetone on the outside, help kill any bacteria that might be, that you might have put there by handling the antlers. Hang it up upside down, I guess it doesn't really matter, but just hang it up, let it sit, don't mess with it for a week or two and then check it and just wiggle it once it's dried you shouldn't be able to wiggle it at all if you can wiggle it anywhere let it sit i i paint on a few paint a few coats of acetone here and there as it's sitting but yeah worked for me i'll do it again give a whirl if you're feeling a bit randy